so good afternoon afternoon so here today i'm here at the roman ruins here in tepidza western algeria it's about an hour and a half from algiers look how beautiful this is this has been around since the s probably <laughs> three to four bc and it's just been well maintained As you can see here, this is just a piece of history. A piece of history just been preserved with time through the differences in regards to war and destruction, but it's still, it's, it's still here due to the test of time. Pretty great. One experience thus far. As you can see, it's still the Roman ruins. You can see a lot of the ruins still maintained. You can only, I, I can only, you, you can only imagine what was taking place here. Think of it like the gladiators. Just the whole arena. Just look at it, stunning. Got beautiful weather today as well. It's about 26, 27 degrees end of October as you can see here this is where the gladius would have started this is where the gladius would have gone for battle this is probably where the position where they'd you know get padded up get ready as you can see it's them against the wilderness Beautiful spot here in Tipaza. Here you go. So this is like the battleground of the gladiators. Look at the arena. Just use your imagination. Use your imagination. Take it all in and think to yourself. Imagine being here a thousand years ago, having the gladiators battle one another. As as I mentioned before, this is a Roman ruin, so this is a well before. Uh, any sort of modern day civilization this was just uh, the Romans in their element Just look at this let's touch the rock and see how solid it is yeah, wow come from up there so look how steep it is taking the beauty of this this is this is a, I can't even describe what I'm witnessing right now I'm witnessing a piece of history live and direct in 2023 Algiers well well yeah Tipaza is actually a, a town just outside Algiers just look here this is where I've just come up from so imagine coming to battle imagine just getting yourself ready these would be like the changing rooms. I don't know if they could change here, but yeah. You can use your imagination. Just look at it, it's just absolutely epic, absolutely different, absolutely extravagant.
walking across the arena. The amount of men that may have died here, unfortunately. The amount of battles that have may have uh, unfolded here. The amount of scores that might have been unsettled. The amount of scores that would have been settled. Here's another entrance. Here we are. Wow. Here's another entrance here. The arena, the battleground. how high these walls are. Imagine trying to climb up out of here. I'd have to say that's very dangerous. I don't know if it'd be safe for me to climb up on that. Ça va? Le bas? Alhamdulillah. Take it all in. You're witnessing a moment of history here. You're witnessing a moment of triumph, triumph and success. Gladiators live and direct the Roman ruins in Tipiza, Algeria, North Africa. Beautiful. As you can see now, I'm in the center of it now. I'm actually in the center of uh, where the gladiators would have taken part. So there would have been two sides. It would have been one side here and one side here. So you'd see one entrance here, one entrance here, with a training room most probably here, a uh, changing room. Well, I wouldn't call it a changing room, but a place for them to get themselves geared up, ready for battle. It's just beautiful how this has been well maintained and how it's been preserved all these amount of years, thousands and thousands of years of preservation. Wow. As you can see, this is a second battleground slash arena. It's a lot smaller. Here you can see me in the distance just here, being a spectator, watching from afar as a, taking the beautiful, beautiful sight of Tipitsa, the Roman ruins here in Algeria. Just the peace, the tranquility. You can just feel it in the air. You can feel the confidence. You can feel, you can just understand that wow like, this is a piece of history that's just remained thousands of years on which is pretty cool pretty great and it just shows you the depths humanity can get to and what we can produce as humans there's no limitation to our minds look at this absolutely great absolutely stunning I'll just give you a walk around so you guys can see. This was actually an unknown tomb slash temple, I believe. So I'll, I'll read out the facts here as well. So here we are, this is a new temple. is another temple this is where most likely gladiators would have pr prayed would have battled would have just chilled Great sight. Still in awe, I'm still amazed. I'm 
still taken aback by it. Let's have a look and see what's over here. Some invisible gate of some sort, concrete slabs. Here we are, Tipidza, Algeria. Look at this beautiful Roman ruins. Another view of the Gladio Arena. But yeah, what do you guys think? What do you like comment and subscribe put your feelings thoughts in the comment section let me know give me some feedback let me know what you're thinking about in regards to this site now and how it looks to you As you can see here, I'm by the Mediterranean Sea and you can just sit here and take in the view, the peace, the tranquility, the calm seas and you can just see the picturesque view to Pisa, west of Algeria, look at this. I'll be honest with you, I had um, reservations and um, I wasn't too sure to come here funnily enough however I googled it I uh, looked at a few reviews and yes yeah, it's blown my expectations out of the water I have to say I don't know literally I, I can't really describe what I'm viewing right now but it is I feel at peace it's a great it's a great view As you can see, just the Roman ruins still maintained. An 
as you can see there I'm, I'm literally lost for words as I mentioned to you guys before um, you know if you, if you guys were here you'd be able to experience and feel the sea the chill that breeze so yeah I've got a few people behind me now it's just a group of people just enjoying the view like myself but you can see the top of the mountain see the mountains in the distance that's the Atlas Mountains in the distance and then here you've just seen this UNESCO World Heritage Site being maintained people don't actually live here it's just maintained I might have to find myself a new spot But as I mentioned to you before, Tepeza in Algeria, wow. Algeria is very, it's a hidden gem of Africa. Um, in regards to not many people come to visit it. Uh, reason being tourism isn't actually pushed. However, I thought to myself, let me come out here because uh, it's a country that I haven't explored before and I've got a few friends that actually are from here and are great people. So I thought to myself, why not come out here just to explore the beauty of the country and I do not regret it at all. Look at this. I can be here all afternoon just taking in the view, relaxing. And you, and you can see the, the seas are quite calm at the moment. The Mediterranean Sea itself is very calm at the moment. I wouldn't go for a swim per se. I'm a strong swimmer, but, but I wouldn't go to swim in this sort of terrain. There's a lot of rocks here, very rocky. But all in all, it's pretty chilled, pretty beautiful. I'm literally just taking it all in now. See the greens of the valleys in the distance. The rest of the Roman ruins. Captivating, I have to say, very captivating. 